Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I thought in this video we can start here from the shorter time frame and then we can zoom out and discuss a bit the macro trend here overall for Bitcoin. As we discussed in yesterday's video, we have this nice pitchfork that we take from the previous lows here to the highs and then to the recent lows. And we have been talking about that this might be a macro low and right now we are in the start of actually uh, going higher and possibly breaking these highs that we have made here previously so basically we're going to break this downtrend or sideways action that we've been having since march but as i said we want to take one uh, target at a time so right now i do like the low here that we we have made and as i said most likely scenario we're going to go to this median line here so this median line is most likely going to act as a magnet that's the rules of this pitchfork so the rules are basically if we can hold this low there's a 80 percent chance we want to go to this median line and right now we can see here how we had a pullback here today but overall you guys know i've been following the technicals really really closely and uh, my target has remained the same so we're going here to 59.8 uh, 59.5 thousand next we can see here if we come here on the two hour time frame i did say that this is possibly some kind of one two three four and then we're having the fifth wave we can see here actually if we go back to the four hour i wanted to show you here that if we take from the first wave here all the way up to the third wave i did say that the 0.31 here 0.31 fibonacci is gonna most likely act as support but as i said it's a shorter time frame so we need to account for more price fluctuations we can see here we actually tested it once twice or even three times in the fourth time we can see we got this massive week down on the four hour uh, here i actually was i thought myself that we might have a change of trend and go lower but we can see how strong the 0.31 once again has proven itself the price pushed back up uh, and we got that four hour close so in my opinion this looks like a typical fourth wave as i said fourth waves like to go sideways so as long as we can com continue sideways here i do think we're going to get a final fifth wave here which is going to take us to 59,500, and then we're going to see some heavy resistance at this fib target uh, at this median line here once we complete this five wave then I want to talk about if we then can go up to the original because I do think if in fact we're going to start breaking this big uh, downtrend or sideways action depending how you want to call it basically I do think uh, we're due to, to see some more impulse uh, price movement come in and then possibly we can start targeting the 65, 64,000 uh, or even 65,000 area here. But as I said one, one, uh, one move at a time so far we're predicted almost every move here uh, both to the up and to the downside and want to play this safe so i do think as i said the trades are to take to the long side once we come up here i most likely personally gonna uh, look to take a short here at least as a hedge because it's never wrong to take hedges because most likely we're gonna have some kind of pullback here then we have to see if the market is going to continue higher or we're going to continue lower something else that i thought it was really interesting is if we come here on the daily chart so you guys know that we've been using this pitchfork previously if we take from the bear market lows here this year and then to the all-time highs and then from the recent lows we can see this pitchfork here acted previously as resistance so we can see once we reach this uh, median line here you can see algorithms kicked in and started selling but as i said uh, it's also possible that if in fact the lows is, are in here it's very possible we're going to go again and test the modify shift which is going to be the next target and possibly possibly the original as well so if we come here on the log scale on the original we can see here how it has acted as to support this outside line here but as i said we're very early here i'm not calling for this type of targets because i do think something crazy has needs to happen for us to reach this median line because we don't have time left so let's say we'll reach it by the end of the year that would already be 109,000, and i think it's very unlikely we'll do something like this but we can see here how this acted as support as well and i do think the modified shift has more probability of getting reached and then of course we have the shift one here on the log scale but so far if we check the normal scale it has the closest targets and i do like to check the the normal scale uh, when i look to targets to the upside because they are more conservative so the shift one the modify shift and then possibly the original the original might be reached here on the normal one but i'm not starting to call anything like that yet check here on the weekly as well nothing really has changed we're still uh, i still like the price action i'm seeing here we take from the lows here to the highs to the reset lows we can see again this is the original pitchfork we can see we have right now uh, been bouncing up from this line here and then of course the modify shift board. so we're still here inside uh, we have tested the medium line let me just readjust this pitchfork here a little bit so basically 
we have once we touch it we're basically gone sideways so nothing here to be surprised about this is very typical once price reach the median line either you, you get a drop or you correct in time so price likes either to correct in in time or in price in this way right now it looks like bitcoin is correcting in time which i do think is bullish the more time we spent here sideways the more bullish uh, i am because the target is exponential so the longer for us it takes to come to the target the higher we're, we're gonna go i see a lot of people are calling for lower prices i've been saying uh, you're too bullish etc and i'm trying to make my stance clear i'm not calling for something crazy right now all i've been saying is if in fact my analysis is right and my analysis say this is the second wave to the third wave here we have been holding the 0.31 and we have bounced from it twice so we had here one very nice bounce here a second bounce and i said if we can in fact hold the low here i don't see any reason to start calling for lower prices i'm not yet don't i don't think it's impossible for us to uh, go down i said we can it is a possibility that we could come down here we have a nice demand zone at 44,000, which also correlates if we take this fib from the first wave here will be a very nice opportunity 45 44,000. i would really like to buy there but most likely i do think that we're gonna continue here to the upside as i said we still like uh, how the stock market looks our plan is still that the stock market is gonna go higher and so is bitcoin as well also if we check here the dollar chart the dollar index is very interest uh, it has very uh, has an inverse correlation with bitcoin so i think it's very important that we check the dollar index as well right now i have this pitchfork on the dollar right now dollar has been trending a bit higher from this median line i remember a few months ago we called that we're gonna hit this median line here so this move down we call to the median line then the dollar broke through and i said it's, it's very likely we're gonna continue down to this original if in fact the dollar would do some crazy uh, thing like this and we're gonna continue crash in the dollar i do think that's gonna be very very bullish because if we check on the macro chart so if we check here on the big time frame the dollar and bitcoin usually have an inverse uh, correlation so we can see here once the dollar typically makes a top on the macro chart and goes down that's usually when we get a bull market in bitcoin we can see here previously as well when the dollar has been going down that's when bitcoin usually bottoms and we get a bull run the same once the dollar start going higher we can see we start getting a bear market here on bitcoin so we really want to see the dollar continue going down if the dollar would start going higher then i would not really like that because overall we would like to see the dollar continue here go down this could also <clears throat> cause for bitcoin to continue higher so very important to pay attention to the dollar i think on a day-to-day -day, uh, scenario it doesn't really matter but on the weekly we ideally want to see the dollar come towards 96 area so far we are above the 0 0.5 line here of this pitchfork which uh, it's not like the bet it's not what you love to see ideally you want to see the dollar come down here below start trending towards this median line for me to become super bullish but overall i'm very confident in my account right now so far price looks good we're still expecting a, a further ups upside here on bitcoin uh, both on the weekly and on the four hour time frame something else i wanted to show you here if we come back on the four hour is the best type of entries you want to get is are these pitchfork entries i do like the fib entries but i was looking at this earlier today as i posted in my telegram if we take from the highs to the lows to the recent highs and you want to look the shift so this is personally how i take in my biggest trades the best trades i've taken in my life are usually these type of entries when price comes down here you get an entry and that usually you can write it up okay see price came close here i was looking at this area to enter but it does look like price is going to continue higher but if in some if for some reason we're going to continue lower i do think this mean line here looks very attractive for me to enter along but as i said our next target is right now 59.5 thousand for bitcoin something else i want to talk about is that markets don't like uncertainty right now we can see uh, it looks like it's very very close between both trump and harris here who is going to uh, win the election and i do expect after the presidential election that's when we can see some real movement to the upside for bitcoin i also found this very interesting chart with which uh, i thought was really interesting we can see here usually that we can see here the bitcoin price with halvings and u.s election so as we previously as mentioned after the halving we usually get these big bull market rallies and we can also see it usually correlates with the elections we can see usually when there's a president president has been elected that usually when we have gotten these big moves to the upside and right now we're a few days away still from the election but i do expect once we get this election this is the we can see here in the red dotted lines here that one can see this big push to the upside right now both the stock market and bitcoin have been going sideways it's a lot of uncertainty and that's something that markets don't like markets don't like uncertainty so i do expect once we get 
uh, the final decision who's going to be president i do still expect the technicals are going to play a big role i don't think it's going to play that big role who's going to be the president overall i think shorter time frame that is going to affect of course the market but over a bigger time frame we have been talking about how the stock market is going to continue higher and we can see here the strong correlation we've been having with bitcoin and i do expect the bitcoin to continue as well i don't see the stock market gonna go higher and bitcoin rejecting going lower i don't believe that's gonna happen but if the stock market for some reason were entering in some kind of recession that's of course gonna be bearish for bitcoin and in that case my analysis would be invalid otherwise this is all for today i thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the daily updates and see you again guys in tomorrow's video